So we read another story. Yeah. Let's see, what story shall we read? Oh, a story about snails. That sounds good, doesn't it? Snails normally go quite slowly. But this is about the racing snail. Can you see they've got a start? They've got a start banner here where they're going to start a race. So we read the story and see what happens. And it looks here, we've got like a ladybird. Okay. One day, a snail and a caterpillar decided to have a crawling race. They'd always crawl along and see who was faster. Sound good, doesn't it? The caterpillar is quite a bit faster, a ladybird told her friend, the worm. There's no doubt about that. There's no doubt that he'll win. It, de it depends how long the race is, said the worm. Nonsense. What difference would, would that make? The worm gave a little smile and slithered away. Mm, it seems like the worm knows something that the ladybird, ladybird doesn't. It turned out the race was actually very long indeed. Right across the garden and back again. It would take half the summer for them to do it, said a grasshopper. But I'll bring news back to all the other creepy crawlies. I could travel the course in half a dozen hops, said the grasshopper. And here you can see the ladybird talking to the friend of the worm. Down here. And then down here we've got the grasshopper. He's going to keep all the other creepy crawlies up to date. As the, as the long race goes on. The grasshopper is much faster than the um, snail and the, um, what is the other competitor called? Uh, the snail and the caterpillar, that's right, yeah. Ready, steady, crawl, said a large beetle. And the race began. Over the days that followed, the grasshopper reported no reported on progress. The snail crept steadily on, but the caterpillar took an early lead and kept it. Then, one day, the grasshopper jumped back with alarming news for the caterpillar supporters. He stopped, he cried. He's put on a brown coat and is hanging upside down from a leaf. I expect he needs a little rest. Can you see here the caterpillar hanging from the leaf and he put on a brown coat? Shall we see what happens next? But the caterpillar carried on sleeping day after day after day. One morning, the snail caught up and crawled past him. <gasps> oh, wow, go on, snail. The other creepy quarterly were all waiting on the finish line to cheer home the winner. The snail put on a final sprint, only a leaf lump from the finish. Suddenly, there was a whirring overhead and a beautiful butterfly fluttered down. I've won, cried the caterpillar, unmistak unmistakable voice. Ah, look, can you see? Did the caterpillar become a butterfly? So when he was resting, he's actually gone into um, a sleep, um, a, like a concubine in a larvae to become um, a butterfly and then the butterfly ran across the fin or flew across the line at the last minute ahead of the snail oh dear what happened next the snail took it very well 
I didn't expect to win, he said, but it was fun trying. Actually, said the worm, you did win. It was a cat it was a crawling race, and the caterpillar, who became a butterfly, flew. Well done, snail. So the snail won, because it was a crawling race, not a flying race. And all the creepy crawlies cheered, yay! Even the butterfly. You see, they're all happy. At the end, you've got the butterfly, the snail, the ladybird, the worm. They're all happy to see. The snail win the race. So it just goes to say, even if you're a bit slow, it doesn't matter. You can catch up, and maybe if you keep going, you might win, win the race. Mwah. Love you. Sleep well. Sweet dreams.